Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with a quick video on my worm bed here. Uh, it used to be up pretty full and is now, a, the, the level has dropped a lot and I added a bunch of rabbit manure for the worms to eat, but I, I left it all to one side because um, for one I had to hurry and get it in here because they were really running out of stuff to eat. And uh, two, I wanted to leave the side that was finished. So that way I could just show y'all how amazingly awesome this soil is. Once you just look, I mean, this is, this is like the consistency of chocolate cake. You get a big old handful. You can see all the worms just going crazy in it. But I mean, this is like the absolute best potting soil or stuff to put in raised garden beds i'm gonna once this thing gets full i'm probably gonna get me a couple of more of these containers and just start filling up you know containers and then when i get ready to throw um some of these into pots or into well probably more into a garden bed then all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take everything and throw it out leave a little bit left to seed the new colony and refill it you can see all the eggs in here i mean it's just you can't go i'd say an inch in this soil and not find a worm or an egg like i mean it's just it's full absolutely full and delicious smelling soil smells so earthy um yeah things are going really good with that I know as soon as I get this raked out over the the top of this and the worms get fed really well, that it's just going to multiply and multiply. And see, I can come in here when I get ready to dump this into a bed. I can take out as many worms as I want to either if you wanted to sell these or you wanted to use them for fishing bait or whatever you wanted to do. I mean, I've got just tons and tons in here to... <clears throat> do anything i want to with i mean i've got thousands upon thousands of worms there's another little egg i mean it's just eggs and worms everywhere uh little update too if you watched any of the videos about me getting rid of the fire ants in here i've heard a lot of people talk about how you know fire ants getting in the worm bed is a death sentence for the whole operation and um, not to say that i don't believe people that say that I just know that I did some stuff, like I tried sprinkling some borax around the area. I boiled, poured boiling water into the ant beds that were around this worm bed. And anytime I saw a bunch of ants coming in here, I'd get on the sides of the container and pour boiling water on, on the ants. And they left it alone. Worms are perfectly fine. I took some worms out just to be able to have a seed for a new bed if they did take over it and uh, everything worked out fine so now I was pretty persistent so um, it may be something that uh, you know just the persistence of trying to get rid of the ants is what really done it in uh, done them in anyway so uh, it'd definitely be something to try if you if they're getting into your worm bed you know try to get rid of them and everything may work out like it did for me so Anyway, I'm going to cover up these little guys with all the rabbit poop, but I just thought I'd show y'all kind of what the finished product looks like, and I'm going to get down in here. There's the bottom of it right there. All been perfectly processed into beautiful worm castings. So awesome. I'm probably going to add a little bit of biochar. Well, it'll be naked char when it gets thrown in here, but mixed in with this rabbit poop because the worms can use it as grit to for you know their digestion for their uh, crop and everything so i may throw some biochar in here and that's just gonna improve the the soil quality when i do that so anyway if this video was helpful or if you like this video leave a like if you've got anything to add or any questions leave them down in the comments section subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this i drop a video mostly every day I appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one.